The thread on Reddit says, regretful parents. Sure, they love their kids, but they also wish they were child free. Cassie. You know, it, it's very interesting, and I think it's something that uh, it's a lie. I think there is a big lie going on around the world, and I think parents are not always fully honest with how difficult it is to have children. And uh, I'm not saying all parents are like this. Some speak the truth, but I think there is this veil of it's hard work, but it's worth it around parenthood, and that if you speak out and say, you know what, it, it's not worth it. I, I wish I wasn't a parent. You are vilified by society. And I even experienced this the other day myself on Twitter. I had said on, on air a few weeks ago that there are aspects of motherhood that I don't enjoy. And, you know, somebody made me out to be like, you don't even like being a mom, you're a bad parent, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, no, it's okay for me to not like certain aspects mm -hmm. of motherhood. Now, this thread on Reddit goes one step further. And, you know, I wouldn't check out the thread unless you're fully prepared because it, it can get quite emotional. Um, and the underlying theme is all of these parents love their children. Like, let's get that out of the way. Every single one would love them, would die for them, would do go to the ends of the earth for them. But they can't help but sit there and be like, this is not what I expected. Nobody told me that I would mentally change and physically change and be tired and that I would regret having children. I love my son, but I wish I could turn back time and not have kids. And, you know, it, it is a forum for a place where you can go and not be judged. There's no bullying. It's for advice and wisdom and support. Now, I don't fall into the regretful parent category. I don't regret having kids. Um, and they have, I have never loved anyone or anything like I love my children. I, I don't smile thinking of things. That's not the kind of person I am, except my kids. When I go to bed, I think of them and I smile and I feel like the sappiest Hallmark card <laughs> on the planet for it. But it's true. But what I do regret is not having more information than I had when I walked into becoming a parent. And I don't think I realized how much my life would change, how difficult it would be, how exhausting and tiring and draining and physically draining as well, both mentally and physically, physically it would be. It's expensive. My body is not the same and it will never be the same again. You know, and it's easy to sit here when you have kids and say, it's all worth it because you would sacrifice everything for them. But for some people, it's not worth it. And I think that's where the stigma lies. And I think we have to say, it's okay if you feel that way. You still need to be responsible for your child and you still love them. But it's okay if you're struggling. It's okay if you're crying in the middle of the night because you're so sleep deprived and you haven't had a full night's sleep in four months. It is okay that your daughter is screaming at you all the time and you don't understand why you don't have a motherly bond and you're questioning yourself. It is okay if you're looking at your bank account draining and your balance and saying, what have I done? How can I afford this? It is okay if you look at your social life and say, I miss my friends. I miss being able to go out to bars and travel and do things with them and just be a normal human being. But now I have to be home all the time with these kids. <laughs> and I just feel like there's not a support network out there. And I feel like people are so afraid of being seen as bad parents or seen that they don't love their, their children that they won't tell the truth if it really affects them that way. Well, we're living in a time where narratives are so extreme now. So even if you look, I look at my friends, Molly and Joel, and they're getting up at two and three o'clock uh, in the afternoon on weekends. And sometimes I'll call them at two thirty in the afternoon and I can hear them. Oh, just now get up. man. And you know what? <laughs> I'm jealous of that time. <laughs> you know, that doesn't make me a bad parent at all. But we're living in this time of extremes. Like, if you don't love everything, then you don't love anything. And that's just not the case. It's ridiculous. Any parent would think that's ridiculous. And even I can sit back and recognize, like, as a person who's a member of the TTC, the Trying to Conceive Club, I wouldn't recommend somebody that was, that is, currently is, is trying to conceive or struggle, whatever, with fertility. I wouldn't go down that thread and I wouldn't read that stuff. Um... So I, I just want people to remember that two things can exist at the same time and that it doesn't make these people bad parents. It's just the realization of how, how hard it actually is. And it sounds so stupid. To, like it even sounds stupid saying it out loud, but it is. It's, it's incredibly difficult. I'm going to be one of those cheesy people is, and, you know, and I find it highly rewarding too. And I am the savvy person like Cassie, like at the end of the night, even if it's been one of the worst days, right? It's just been one of those days. And I go to bed and I have my phone in my hand and what am I doing? I'm looking at pictures and videos of Jimmy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
before I, I do go to the bed. same thing. Exactly the same thing. And but that's the thing is like we have those highlights, but mm-hmm. yeah, you're like, oh, I know a child will change my life, but until you live it, you're like. Oh, my God, I did not Hmm. realize. And I want to read this one post really fast. And, you know, trigger warning, because this might be emotionally difficult for some people. And this segment is really for people who are on the fence. Maybe I want one. Maybe I don't. I just want you to have the information. The highs are high and the lows are low. So they write, it's not worth it. It's so hard, but it's worth it is the parenting mantra. And I've heard it from everyone since I was first pregnant. But really, it's not. My kid is 18 months. She's sweet and smart, but incredibly high strung. Her tantrums are frequent and intense. She doesn't sleep. She goes through strong parent preference. And when she wants dad, she hates me. She'll cry if I get anywhere near her. Pregnancy has left me with permanent physical issues. She wakes up every night for at least an hour, gets up every day at 5.15 in the morning. So I can't even do an exercise before she wakes up, which is something that used to keep me sane. She's been sleep trained for over a year. Doesn't matter. By the time bedtime comes, I'm so tired I can barely stay awake to have time with my sweet husband. Why did I ruin my body and my life to have a child who rejects me, who screams like she's being tortured over every minor inconvenience, who will not sleep no matter how many sleep books and courses and consultants I pay for? And even worse, I'm accidentally expecting number two. I used to want a huge family and I thought I would love being a mom, but it sucks. And I hope it gets better, but I've been saying that for over a year. And this is a really realistic snapshot because I had nights like this when I had postpartum depression right after my first child. And I was like, what is happening? What have I done? And it did get better for me. And it does. And I needed therapy and I needed sleep and I needed help. Um, But I just want to if any mom out there is have or dad is having these thoughts, I just want to give you. I want to say they're valid. Mm. I want you to feel seen. You shouldn't feel ashamed of the feelings that you're feeling. And you're not the only one who has had thoughts like that. But you need to get therapy and you need to get help. And as always, if your thoughts ever drift from anything other than loving your child and fully providing for them, like you need to get it checked fast. Because these parents love their kids, but it is okay to question why you became a parent. Any parent that says, I 100% love everything about parenting, you're a liar. Lies. You're a liar. <laughs> and you popped a zanny and you're a bottle in a wine at night. <laughs> That's the first show. The Bird Show. So, first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Bird Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.